So I don't know if you guys heard about this or not, but Martin Scarelli, he's trying to purchase Kanye's album for $10 million or he's just plain trying to freaking delay the thing. Like at first I gave this guy the benefit of the doubt, but this guy is a complete asshole. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly why. Now, Martin Scarelli is the same guy who purchased an HIV medication and raised the price from $13 to over $700 overnight. And I thought to myself, hmm, that doesn't make the guy a bad guy. That just means that he's trying to profit from what he purchases. Martin Scarelli is also the same guy who said that he will bail out Bobby Schmurda only on the stipulation that Bobby Schmurda makes 10 albums under his label. And I said to myself, hmm, that doesn't make him a bad guy. Martin Scarelli is also the same guy who purchased a Wu-Tang album, a very limited copy, by the way, for an estimated cost of $2 million. That doesn't make him a bad guy. Now, what he said today definitely makes this guy an asshole. And I want you guys to watch what I'm going to show you here. So like I told you guys earlier in the video, Martin Scarelli either wants to purchase Kanye's album for $10 million or he wants to just delay the thing. Now, now this guy could not let Kanye West have a spotlight. He thought to himself, hmm, how could I get in the spotlight today? Now, as you guys know, the spotlight has been on Kanye West today. Today, he hosted Yeezy season three. It was a fashion show and it was also a place for him to showcase his album. I love the album, guys. I got one word for it, and that's just magical. I felt that the album was simply magical. It sounded great. The whole presentation that he had was cool as well. You know, it was a concert, but at the same time, you had a fashion show. Although these people were just standing around in a bunch of weird clothing that's probably weird to me and you, it was still a great show, but I was there for the music. So Martin Scarelli thought to himself today, hmm, how can I steal a little bit of the spotlight? And he came up with a great idea. He's like, part two, let me just buy another album for a very expensive price. Ding, 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 $10 million. That's how much I'm going to buy the Pablo album for. And not only that, I'm going to tell his fans that the album is going to be delayed. So let's read his tweets here, guys. I have been a tremendous fan of your music for many of years. Specifically, the album, The College Dropout, inspired me to succeed at a young age. I'm writing to you in hopes of convincing you to withhold the release of your forthcoming studio album. Now, this is what I want you guys to pay close attention to. Instead of releasing this product for millions of fans, I ask you to sell this recording solely to me for the price of $10 million. So the next week gets very interesting and you see the true motives of this guy. He goes, Kanye and his label are legally required to take my offer letter to their board of directors. This should delay the album by a few days. So what's wrong with this guy? Like, why? Why do you want to delay the album? Right away, this tells me what this guy truly wants, right? He wants attention because why else would he tweet out? This should delay the album by a few days. He wants people to believe that he's able to delay this album because of the attempt purchase that he's trying to make. Whether he's right or wrong, at the end of the day, why else would he put that out in the world? Why else would he tweet that out? He wants attention. So at that point, fans got pretty upset. This is what one guy said. I can't wait till someone beats you up. So this guy wants Martin Scarelli beat up for just for trying to purchase the Kanye West album and him trying to delay it. And he also tweets at Wu-Tang Finance, can you help me issue some Kanye bonds real quick? Then another fan responds with, why won't Martin Scarelli do something useful with his money 
like offer to buy every future episode of two broke girls so they never air <laughs> like that's great right there. i think he should definitely do that instead of trying to purchase the kanye west album i want to freaking hear this thing i want to own it i don't need you doing that stuff man i want you guys to let me know in the comment section like what do you think about this guy man at first you know i gave this guy the benefit of the doubt because at the end of the day right if he wants to go out and raise the price of medication you know to a very high level you know look man he owns it he can do whatever he wants right but now i see this guy trying to throw his money around he's trying to delay the album he's trying to get attention for purchasing the album something is seeming a little bit off about this guy man i don't know where he came from but this guy just came up with some master plan one day and said hey how can I get attention? Okay, let me go into hip hop and let me just try to throw my money around like I'm a boss. Because think about it this way. It's one of the only cultures out there where someone who actually has money, right, can throw their money around and appear to be a boss. Now, don't get me wrong. This guy actually has money, right? But if he was out there trying to rub shoulders with the billionaires out there, trying to flex his money, he would seem like a little fish in a small pond. That's just what it is. Anyway, this is Thomas Live. You guys have a great day, and I'm out.